What's going on everybody, it's Nakula, and I'm back with some more Dragon Ball Fusions. So let's get this started. And of course, if you guys do enjoy these videos, please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Also, let's see if we can get this video up to 300 likes. Because it doesn't know that you guys aren't interested in the content, and I'll be more motivated to make more content in the future. So, today I decided to go back online and give people the work, okay? They thought that they can fight me, but no, okay? My team is God. Anyways, yeah, um, let's hop straight into the battle. So, I decided to lead off with actually a different team because I felt as if my team was getting just a bit too stagnant. Like, it was too... Well, they appeared in too many videos. So, um, I swapped out a few characters and, um, yeah, decided to lead with them. But, with the opponent's team, he actually has two threats, which are Goris and Hit. And I have to make sure that without a single doubt, the first person to die is Goris. But anyways, he led off with Toa, you know what I'm saying, the Dark Bay. Okay, and he hit me with the Key Blast, and it actually knocked three of us kind of back um, behind the line. And I'm thinking that's not too bad, because my turn will come up soon. But then with his next character, he actually went to Gorse and used Key Pass. And that's when I knew that's, that character had to go, or at least Gorse had to die quickly. Because the more Key that Gorse gets, the worse of a predicament I'm going to be in. But anyways, um, with Gorse, he actually used his Key Blast attack and knocked three of us back again. And with his um this one character, I don't know his name and I don't care because I hate him. Um he hit three of us again, but not far enough for us to actually be set back too badly. So that was Gene's turn, okay? Gene's looking kind of nice. Okay. Now um as I was setting up to attack with Gene, I was trying to hit Toa because she was next um after hit, but she was just too far off. So I decided to hit hit um alongside Goris and um knock him back a decent amount. Not too much because Gene is not really that strong. But, you know, to a decent amount. Anyways, afterwards, since I had enough um, key with trunks, I decided it's actually time to... Oh, no, I'm actually tripping. Um, I thought I had enough key. No, um, I hit him with a key blast attack, okay? It's, it's early in the morning, okay? Don't hate on my commentary. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. Anyways, we got Black Hair Goddess. Jamila in the building. Um, I actually decided to use, as usual, mock move because I want to make sure that I get my character as much key as possible to be able to kill the opponent but luckily enough i did have enough key for super saiyan at the time and then of course it's jamila's turn again okay she's putting in all kinds of work i use mock move again all right key is amazing okay like having an endless supply of key i like it anyways so now it's beckon's turn and i decided to go after goris because again like out of everybody on this team regardless of how much a threat hit is Goris is the main threat. If I get hit by Sphere of Destruction, we're all dead. Well, except for my character, he could probably live because he's on Super Saiyan, but for the most part, we're all dead. And I just cannot allow that to happen whatsoever. Like, Goris can never have a turn, otherwise it's game over. So my man Hit decides to use a move. I've never seen that move before. Like, maybe it's Pure Progress or whatever it is. I genuinely do not know what the name of that move is because I've never seen Hit use it before. But, um, if I'm not mistaken, it rose either his speed or his power. One of those two. Anyway, now it's, um, Toa's turn because, um, you know, my, my black hair goddess, okay? She just hit Toa with a key blast. I was hoping to knock her out the stage, but it didn't work. And, of course, Toa goes to use key pass on Goris and also gets everybody within the area of effect. So, now I'm starting to sweat a bit because Goris, if I'm not mistaken, at this point, has enough to wipe all of us out. And if I don't kill him then yeah, we're looking kind of bad. Luckily, he didn't go to attack my character. He went to um, actually use another key pass on Hit. Now, although that's also bad because, you know, Hit can use Time Slip Smash and knock all of us out. But um, luckily in this case, he just hit me with a regular attack. Though it did do a lot of damage, clearly was not enough to kill Trunks. And I took the utmost, like, when I saw this opportunity, I had to take it. There was no way that I wasn't. Like, hit was, or not hit, um, Gorse was completely vulnerable, my character was not sent back, I'm on Super Saiyan, Gorus has to go, like, now, like, I can't get hit with either Times Tank Kamehameha or Sphere of Destruction. So, I kill Gorus, and luckily enough, I'm, like, ricocheting everybody all over the place, to the point where I knocked out every single character, like, all the characters got knocked out of the ring, and in the process, Gorus is dead. So, that's a complete win-win situation. All of them got set back. I have plenty of time to destroy everybody else if need be. And also, the way how he set his characters up, he he kind of set them up for failure, slightly. 
But um, yes. Anyways, it's Jamila's turn, okay? Once again, I decided to use mock moves because I really want to make sure that when it comes to any of the characters that may come up next, I want to make sure that they have, again, as much key as possible. So I used mock move again afterwards, and then I finally decided to hit the next character, which was Toa. And I was hoping to actually knock her into GNA. If I'm not mistaken, I actually didn't hit her into GNA. And if I did, then yes. Yeah, I, I knew I was in trip. I didn't hit her in GNA. But my man Trunks, okay? He had enough key for the attack, okay? We're about to use the light sword. It's time. But um, just so you guys know, Trunks' light sword is actually a phenomenal attack. It deals a ridiculous amount of damage and it covers a decent range however of course i think the main reason why i didn't kill a hit was the fact that he used that one move that i think i honestly think it boosted his power or his defense one of those two but he was bulky enough to actually survive the attack otherwise regardless of how much health he had i could have easily have killed hit with that one slash anyways um toa uh, finally hits me and um trunks in the process and knocks his back slightly but i'm not really tripping because in this case i have the opportunity to knock hit out of the stage and that's all that matters because he's the next threat because he can use time slip smash no okay no time slip smash even though it was, even though it's a clean attack i'm not i'm not trying to get hit by that that it, it seems kind of painful you know like i kind of enjoy my body being you know the way it is currently anyways yeah now um his next character had it um his turn and actually healed toa and I'm not worried about, or not heal Toa, I'll use Key Pass with Toa. And I'm not worried about Toa because Toa is a healer and a supporter. So even though she could be a threat, in this case, if she's not healing Hit, then I have nothing to worry about at all. Anyways, um, with Beckon, I decided to use Monster Throw on Hit, and I was trying to hit him into um, Trunks so Trunks can ricochet him out the stage, but that didn't turn out that well. But anyways, afterwards, I used Mach Move with Jamila because I had enough Key. And I think my character had enough to use finish combo. But uh, regardless, um, after that, it's Jamila's turn again. And I hit Toa with a Key Blast, hoping to have a ricochet off of the other character. But I, I genuinely don't think that's possible. So I actually need to stop doing that because I think that's becoming a bad habit. But um, now that Toa has her turn, she decides to hit Gene, my character, in Trunks and sets us back far enough for a hit to have his turn. Now I'm worried because he has a crap ton of key and he's clearly going to use time slip smash. But it was too obvious to read where he was going to hit me because my character's right there and if my character gets knocked out the stage and he's going to get set back. So I ended up blocking it, but it still did too much damage. But again, main reason is because he powered himself up, but I digress. It, it makes complete sense. Anyway, it's now his other character's turn. Like, and for all the characters that I don't know, if you guys know the name of the character, let me know in the comment section below because I personally am not going to take the time out of my day to learn the names of these characters. But if you guys know, then let me know, like, by all means. Anyways, he uses Key Pass on um, Toa and raises her key. And I'm sitting here wondering why, because with Toa, you're just going to be using Key Pass on either Hit or the other character. So there's no point. Anyways, we all jump Toa. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sad that she's gone. You know, Toa, Toa kind of looked nice. You know what I'm saying? I... I kind of wanted Toa to stay here, but, you know, I, I had to send her out. It, it was for the greater good. Now, it's Trunks' turn. And I managed to actually land a hit on hit. <laughs> All the puns intended. <laughs> yes. But, yeah, I used Light Sword again. And this time, I know for a fact that it would definitely kill him. And sure enough, it did enough damage to actually, actually overkill him, now that I think about it. Now, there's only one person left on the field... And guess whose turn it is? And guess who has enough key to kill anything? So, with this opportunity, I decided to actually hit him with Panitch Combo, knowing that even if he blocked, he would still die because I'm on Super Saiyan, so I'm doing a crap ton of damage. And I just utterly, like, rip the soul out of his body, then put it back into the body, stomp him, then rip it back out and bury it. That's how bad I bodied this dude. But, um, yeah, even at that, I'm just happy that this new team actually worked. I really want to start using different teams. I don't want to just stick with, you know, like Super Saiyan 3 Broly and, you know, go from there. Like, I want to be able to use different teams and see if they work. And actually, this will be interesting. Um, I want to ask you guys, like, let me know in the comment section below, who do you want to actually see on my team for the next video? But please pick some viable characters. But in a general retrospect, let me know what characters you guys want to see 
on my team for the next video in the comment section below. But nonetheless, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if you did, please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at IndiKoopaYT. And if you want to stay updated for all the videos I upload, don't forget to ring my bell. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.